What's up, YouTube family? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am out. It's Saturday morning. I'm gonna go. I'm about to go check out this new African restaurant here and check out their food. So, yes, I will let you guys know. I'll buy a few things and, you know, check it out and see how I like it. So, yes, join me. Guys, I placed my order already. I'm just waiting. I got jollof rice and goat, goats too. So we'll see when it comes. And I got this juicy to try. It's hibiscus juice. It's really good. It has ginger in it. So yeah, you'll see it when it gets here. So. Yeah, it's a nice setup. All right, guys. This is what I got right here. This is the jollof rice. The goat meat, it's some um, tomato sauce or tomato soup. It's two tomato stew, goat meat, goat meat, tomato stew, plantain, and I got some um, salad right here. And we're all he's eating the okra soup, the plantain fufu. So, yep, we're about to dive in. I'm gonna give him his privacy, but you and I can eat. So you eat it so, anywhere you go, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Really? All right, guys. Finished at the restaurant. It was great. Um, 
the restaurant itself was nice it's a new it's a fairly new restaurant um, uh, the food I can rate it a I would say a 6 out of 10 I wouldn't give it a 10 the meal that I had I had the jollof rice uh, the rice tastes like it was kind of burnt um, you know when they were cooking it so and kind of dry so it's probably leftover food from the day before the goat meat they gave me the ribs like the rib part of the meat so it's a lot of bone and you know it wasn't like that chunky piece of yummy meat that I can sink my teeth into as you can you probably seen in the video that I was struggling to take a bite out of that you know um, you know it wasn't as tender as I'm used to so yeah the salad looked nice but it was it was spoiling you know so uh, she have to be careful when you know with her food she have to take pride in how she how the food is kept and what she's serving people but I would I go again yes I would give her another chance and try something different um, yeah but for that meal I, I didn't enjoy it as much and for you roll did you like your okra soup okra soup I give it a five five out of ten all right he said the okra soup he would give it a five out of ten but the, but the fufu speak up but the fufu a ten out of ten for the fufu but the, ok the okra stew with the crocker fish, five out of ten. Okay. Yes, and I had a piece of the fish as well. Um, it was fried very dry, very dry. You, it's not like you sink your teeth into it. It was you, you had a lot of you had to do a lot of work just to eat a piece of the f the flesh. You know, and if you know what I mean. Cold. Yeah, and it was cold. It wasn't. Um, you know the temperature wasn't that great well the temperature wasn't where it should be for for food just to you know just to say that but yeah it's, it wasn't the best but you know you have to give everyone a chance so I would definitely go again and try something else probably the cassava leaf you know I would probably try something like that I've never tried that one before or try another African restaurant and try the the cassava leaf um, yeah Ooh, it's, it's been a while since I've tried um, cassava leaf actually since I left Guyana I haven't eaten cassava leaf so yeah but yeah that's it for now we're just driving out I'm gonna go get my vegetables so I can cook because there's no vegetables in the house and that's mainly what we cook we don't cook too much meat so yep we're heading to the international market to grab some food some groceries and and head home but yeah yes so stay tuned I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna put you on to something else I don't know but just stay tuned if not I'll come back and close out the vlog all right guys we made it home it is hot 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 out there but I just wanted to show you guys what I um, got for for the house just some groceries I picked up actually first before I went grocery shopping where's the other one like this where's the other one like this it's in the back it's only two. okay it's right here all right uh, first I stopped at Burlington to pick these up I love this thing one time I purchased I found it in Burlington I purchased it loved it when it finished I went hunting searching Burlington again try to find more they did not have any but I'm gonna zoom in I checked Amazon someone had it but it was taking like 20 days before it arrived so I didn't even bother so me and my sister went shopping a few weeks ago and went into Burlington about 30 miles away and found it OMG I bought three of them I came home I, I've been using it on my natural hair but I didn't put it on my wigs but now I put it on the wig and it, the, it doesn't snag and it doesn't weigh the hair down or anything. It smells so good. I love this thing. So I have three upstairs and I went out and I found two more. So I'm like literally stacking up on these things. That's how much I love it. It's a castor oil leave-in leave -in conditioner and detangler. 
So this is it right here. I love this thing. Oh my goodness. And uh, I paid $5.99 for each one. So I got two. I have two of these upstairs. I got the argan oil one. One of the argan oil. I haven't tried that one, but I stacked up on the castor oil because I love this one. The smell is amazing. When I wash my hair, I usually um, oil my scalp and I spray this on my scalp too. So yeah, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It hydrates the hair, it detangles it, and of course it, you know, it's everything. Anyway, me, enough of me chatting. Let me go ahead and show you. Oh, I also got this. This is like a, like a gloss. It's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a it's soap therapy. Put it on the hair before you put the curling iron on it to protect the hair. So I purchased this. This was uh, twenty dollars. So these three cost me thirty three dollars. All right, sorry guys, my battery died. I had to change my battery. Um, yeah, so let me show you what I got. I went grocery shopping, got me some onions because I needed some more. Got some ripe plantains. Got the turmeric root. I've never tried the turmeric root before. I always use the powder, so I'm gonna try this out. Got more of my Korean sweet yam. Got me some scotch bonnet pepper. I'm gonna make my own pepper sauce. Got scallions. Yes, I got six of these because I'm gonna I'm gonna blend some of it to add to my to my pepper sauce. So I might do a little um, a short video or a TikTok with making my pepper sauce. I'm not sure. Got more of the baby bok choy. I love this. Got more okra, so I didn't buy all my vegetables all at once because of course it'll spoil before I can get to them all. So I bought some now, then when I'm almost finished with these, I'll go buy some more, I'll probably get eggplant. I love eggplant. I still have some um, cabbage in there. I'm not a big fan of cabbage. I eat that maybe once once a month maybe oh and I got this this here this is just like a mixed vegetables it's like a medley of different things in here there's the peppers the sweet pepper there's broccoli there's corn this is cauliflower we have um, celery this is um, cho cho it has onions, it has carrots, it has um, t a potato in there, a piece of a cabbage. So pretty much what I do is just, just I would cut up the cabbage, of course, because it's too big, but everything else, I just wash them, throw them in the pot just like that, and saute it down with coconut milk. Sometimes I put curry. If I'm in the mood um, for the curry flavor, I would add some curry, but um, sometimes I do it without, so yep. This is how we eat. Actually, this time, also got aloe vera. We usually slice it, put it in a in like a mason jar, and we would like eat a piece every day. Sometimes I would take a piece and rub it on my face after I wash it. I purchased cherries. I'm not sure if you if I showed you guys that. And also, I got smoked turkey neck. I don't know. I, I love turkey neck. I'm not sure why. Since I was a little girl, even Thanksgiving time, my mom, nobody couldn't touch the turkey neck because it was mine. You know, it was just, it was mine. So nobody, everybody knew they couldn't touch the turkey neck. She prepared that, like, especially for me. And even up to today, I still love it. So, yes, I usually pressure it. I do it with some vegetables maybe spinach or something like that with white rice and it's really really good of course coconut milk i put coconut milk in everything i cook almost everything not everything yes yeah, so that's it for now um what else we have and guys these bags now when you go to the grocery store they want you my aloe vera broke 
they want you to pay for your bags. So what I did, I went into Burlington and bought these, bought my hair products, and Burlington have their bags for 10 cents. So I told a lady, I'm like, can I get like four of them? And she was like, sure. So I paid 10 cents each. And then I went over to the grocery store. The grocery store is selling their bag for $1.75 per bag. I'm like, no way, no way in hell I'm spending that much on a bag. So, yep, I'm gonna fold these, I'm gonna recycle them and leave them in my truck. Next time I go down the road, I have my shopping bag. So, yep, that's what we come to now trying to save the planet, right? I guess we all have to do our part, so I can't complain too much. Why is this black roll? Is that from the truck wheel? Probably. Okay. Yes, guys, also, talking about truck. My truck needs some work. <laughs> First of all, I need new tires. They're bald. My, my passenger rear tire keeps losing air figured out there of course I knew there was a nail in it but I couldn't find it so I went down to the guy that you know the mechanic that does all the work for us and he took it off because I have a message on my dashboard saying that my my brake my brake pads are wearing down so he had to check and see which one is wearing down so he pulled it off he found a nail in the rear passenger tire so i'm like okay i would have never found it because it's way down there like really flat in the center of the of the wheel so anyhow thank god we figured that out and then my front i need front brake pads for my vehicle yes yeah, so it's some work on there it's gonna cost me over fifteen hundred dollars and i need new tires and each tire is about 275 so that's another twelve hundred dollars so yeah but you know what i don't mind i don't have a payment on my vehicle so when it's i have to maintain it i have to maintain it and because i don't plan on getting a new one not no time soon i don't like car payments i don't like debt so yeah so that's that was our adventure today guys i'm loving my fro it's so it feels so free i, I greased my scalp actually I put oil on my scalp and all day the oil is just running down my neck and like look at that i wipe my neck all right this clean and i wipe right here and look at that i just kept rubbing my elbows and i'm like you know what i'll i'll just look very moisturized out there but yes i'm enjoying my natural my fro for the for the weekend i wish i can wear it to work like this if i do it i'll have to wake up maybe four o'clock in the morning to fix my hair to get to work on time you know and then when i there's no way to preserve this when i lay down and wake up the next morning it's gonna be flat so it's just so hard I, but i like to do it on the weekend so in the weekdays i would braid my hair wear my wigs and then on the weekend, I take a break from them and just rock my natural locks. So that's the deal. But it feels so good. It feels free. No tugging on my scalp. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You got leftovers, African food. Huh? Huh? Chloe want it? Chloe want it? Chloe! Yeah, we had lunch at the African restaurant and my husband wants to go out for dinner. I'm like, where is all this food going? I don't have space. I don't have room in my tummy for all this food. Don't look here, Ginger. You don't like to see, she loves to see us eat food. She's like, she just waiting to see if we're gonna throw her a bone. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, guys, I purchased fish as well. Look at that. I purchased, this is um, red snapper. I asked them to cut it up for me. That was four, four fish, right? Four of them, I had them cut up and it was $55. Yes, trying to eat healthy is not cheap, guys. Bye for now. I don't know if I'm gonna end this vlog yet. That's why I keep like, I don't know if I wanna end it yet. Something else might come into my mind. I'm like, oh, 
let me do this. I think me and my husband gonna tackle our closet this evening or today, because I don't think we're going back out. Chloe's going to have a sleepover at her friend's house this weekend, so we're gonna have the house to ourselves. So that's gonna be fun, right, Earl? Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Anyhow, yeah, we. I think we're gonna tackle the closet. I started mine throughout the week, but of course. All right, guys, it's. What time is it? It's after what, six? <laughs> oh my God. I just wanna get one. one. Yeah, it's 6.30 right now and we're going to dinner. I see, it feels like all we've been doing today is just eating, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Just eating food all day. But anyhow, let's go and enjoy. We are going to El, El Ranchero. It's a Mexican restaurant. We're gonna have some tacos for dinner. All right, this is our first time here. All right, guys. I'm starting off with a, mar a mango margarita. That's what this is. Let's zoom right in. See how beautiful it is. And Rohi is drinking a Mexican Dos Equis dark. So that's the strong version. That's him feeding his face. Hmm. And he's eating some tortilla chips with some, some salsa. So that's it for now having tacos when it come out I will definitely um, show you all right all right guys dinner is here we didn't get to cook we finished our appetizer but here this is mine I have the shrimp um, tacos comes with three soft tacos I'm not sure what that sauce is this is rice and beans and this is raw I didn't know I like my ass food. What did you get? Um, Chicken po pollo. Pollo loco. Uh, pollo loco. All right, his is called Pollo Loco. Looks really good. Came out sizzling on a skillet. A hard speed to the city streets. We began to feel the fire. We rise like. Buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young, it has just begun. As she puts her hand in mine, we want to chase the night. All right, guys, thank you for rocking with me. I am going to sign off for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below and tell me what your favorite restaurant is and which one I should try. So yes, love you guys and see you in the next vlog.